questions and people asking to get that Florida garden update right here on my take on home and garden. How are you doing? Well, a lot of the stuff is, you see how it's getting warm now? Yeah. So a lot of the stuff, the tomatoes, they start getting ripe. And the pumpkins, they all, lots of pumpkins coming in. Holy mackerel, I got to get up there, yeah. Wow, yeah. look at that. Beautiful. Now, you need a trampoline down here, and then you can just jump up and get them. Well, as you see, <laughs> see it's starting to get so hot now that everything started to come in now, so right. that's why I don't do any planting now when it's get hot. I do it. I just reap. Everything is blooming. This is a, a what you call a sweet sap. It's a sweet sap tree. Right now, it's, it's got a lot of blossom on it. And in another month or so, you're going to see baby ones pushing. They're going to, you know, it's going to be loaded. Oh, it's pretty. Yeah. yeah. Looks healthy, too. Yeah. It? Oh, yeah. And that's my, what do you call a, we call it chocho in the island. And Spanish people, they call it a different name. Yocha. Huh. I think. That's your... That's, a, that's another fruit that it, it bear a fruit you can eat it raw you can eat it you can cook it oh and you see you see how tall i told you that was going to grow <laughs> you see <laughs> yeah <laughs> you see? Oh. They, they they're up to up to about eight feet now here. like i told you some of them now your key lime has got fruit and blossom and blossoming that's cool yeah you see it? yeah that's the last time I told you. You right. see how many little ones in it? Right, so they, they just keep coming. Just keep coming. <clears throat> and I can't get over the soaker now. That's what I really wanted to show everybody. Yeah, the okra, yeah. Look how tall it is, different from the last time, huh? <laughs> this, and I pick okra every two days. This one's like seven feet tall. Yeah, yeah, I told you. And you see, from the last time I showed you, most of my carrots is almost gone because I got to pull them now because they're coming in. Okay, right. Yeah, you know. Oh, let's see one of them championship. Look at this guy. Look at <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Yep. This, yeah. This is my carrots. So your spring garden's almost finished. Yeah, it's it's by next month, by next month my everything is uh Done. actually if I don't so it sort of come dormant like I told you before. Yeah. And whatever in here now, I'm gonna have to take out. You got it. Then it get rest between the end of July, August. Got you. Till the end of September, I started to turn the soil over again I for my see. fall garden. Right. If you notice over here, I I took all my cabbage and these are okras. I, and all of this, all of this is coming out by next, by the end of the month, I'm going to pull everything up. And all the seeds that drop, fall in the ground, it's, it's just mixed with the earth when I turn the soil over. And they just automatically come back just about October. They stays in the ground and the seeds come right back. No kidding. Yeah, once, but once, you see all the soil, yeah. see now, I don't just plant in it like that. Turn it over and I put my my compost in it and and garden line and everything well this tree gonna get it's gonna grow and i can pick those and it, it stays and um i think it comes back all the way back until about november what's this exotic thing you told me before uh, is a is, is a sorrel and you could you can drink it in smoothies or you could pull it together when you have so much okay and then you put it in hot water and become water becomes red and you add sugar to it and drink it power drink yeah I, you could add um, <laughs> ginger also with it okay yeah and, and look at my I get a lot of pumpkin man look, look at you pumpkin. still got your tree pumpkin I, I, I <laughs> eat it. Well, look, look how cool look, look over here yeah look at the one in the bushes here look 
Oh, that's a dandy. Yeah, look at that. Can you believe this? Pumpkins. The pumpkin. Up north, they're all gone. Yeah. Long gone. And then Herman has his own yeah. climbing and tree pumpkins. Look yeah. at this on the fence. D different type of pumpkins yeah. too. <laughs> Not this. I don't grow the same type. I got different kinds. Yeah. That's yeah. a beautiful color there. Yeah. Over here. Some more. Some more. This whole year I just took a whole thing of uh, onions out of there. Okay. I have all this was all onions. That's right. And everything is up now, so. Look at the papaya over here, too. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, all these papaya, they, they're here like crazy. Wow, what a year for them. Yeah, man, they turn out. Every day I have to pick, or every two days I have to pick. <laughs> Wonderful. I gave away a lot of this stuff. Yeah. Well, he always does. He's so good about it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, it, it's a pumpkin. They, they just take over the whole the tree. <laughs> they beer all over. Yeah. Beer in the bushes everywhere. Look at this. Here's that ochre bloom again. There's more than one, of course. That's crazy. And you see that mango tree that I had sitting over there? I put it right here at this spot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look at the new. That is the new growth, right? Yeah, that looks good. Yep. Wow. That looks happy. Did you get tomatoes? Or I is... got lots of tomatoes. And I, they, they, they heat us so fast that I had to pick a lot of them because they, it heat up so fast. They eat the time, so they ripe up. Look at that huge one over there. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, different from the last time. We remember the ones yeah. I showed you over there. Yeah. 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 And over here, wow. And he gave Whoa. me some. Yeah. And we make. Yeah. Look. Short bread out of it. Oh, you make bread out of it? And pie. Pie. Like. Look, 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 at that. look beside you over there. Even, under, even running on the fence over here. Look at the new ones coming out. Yeah. What's going on with the cactus? Is it fruiting? It's, yeah, it's getting... Uh, this is tuna. We call it tuna. Okay. Yeah, you put it in the water and you drink it and... You, you also, you could do different things with it too. The Spanish people, they, they cook with it. Right. Yeah. I, I pick so much pepper off this thing. And it's, look <laughs> at it, it's loaded with pepper again. And it, it's, you, if I'm you had come here like a month ago, you yeah. see how many yellow ones I got on it. No kidding. And, uh, and, and you see how much blossom on it? And blossoms. And still. blossom in it. Lots of green ones on it too. Toys it's getting so hot now. Yes, it is. <laughs> Everything. I don't do not all I do is reap now. I don't I don't plant nothing now. Yeah. Nothing. Right. It's getting too hot. But well. it, but you come here like October, the garden is nice and pretty again. And if you notice what I do, whatever I plant over here this time, I switched. Yeah. You like rotate I, it. Rotate it, yeah. Right. Because I would never put carrots over there no more. Maybe I put carrots on the other side. Or down this side. I see. Yeah, I, I switch, I change spots. Sure. I try to control the pumpkins because pumpkins need a lot of room to run. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's the only way, I, you know, if I had a small backyard, I couldn't grow pumpkin. Yeah. You know, you see how many space they take up? They're just cool. They're yeah. on the fence. On the fence. They run on the fence and they, be, they hang there too. Half of the yard, they're running along. Great. Well, thanks for taking the time again, bud. Yeah. Appreciate it. Now the Thunbergia wants to show off. So I'm back from Herman's place and thought we'd show you some of this. Montezuma rose look at the color of these caladiums
just wanted to show you these caladiums that hide in the shade but when the sun gets on them here's those Sakuma again they're out more full and I want to get a better close-up for you Well, so folks, if you like this content and you want to see more, share and like our video. Subscribe to our channel and you can follow us on Instagram at my take on home and garden. As always, thanks everybody for being the best subscribers going on. And we'll see you in the next video.